My name is Hakimi Shahakim bin Muhammad Razi. I'm from class MBA 0021F. My name is Muhammad Farid bin Muhammad Iskandar and I'm from MBA 0021F. My name Muhammad Ayman Hazimi bin Anwar. I'm from MBA 0021F. My name is Muhammad Nabil bin Salim. I'm from MBA 0021F. Uh, for case study 1, compound interest. Two financial institutions charge different interest rate for loan. Financial institution A. Uh, given 5.8 interest rate compounded monthly. Financial institution B. 6.3% interest rate compounded every two months. If you want to borrow RM45,000, find the total amount that you must pay and the amount of interest charge after five years. Robot Financial Institution Company A P equal to RM45,000 T equal to 5 years K equal to 5.8% M equal to 12 For finding N, we need to T times M equal 60 To find I, we need, we need to K divide with M In this question, we are using the formula S equal T open bracket 1 plus I Close the bracket, power of N. S equal to 45,000 ringgit. Open the bracket, 1 plus 0 0.058. Divide by 12. Close the bracket, power of 60. So, for S, we got 16,097 ringgit, 24 cent. To find I, we are using formula I equal S minus P. I equal RM60,097 ringgit, 24 cent. Minus 45,000 ringgit. I equal 15,097 ringgit, 24 cent. For company B, P equal to 45,000 ringgit, T equal to 5, K equal to 6.2 percent, M equal to 6.5 N, T times M equal to 30. To find I, K divide by M equal 0 0.0103 to find s we are using the same formula s equal to p open the bracket 1 plus i close the bracket power of n s equal to 45,000 ringgit open the bracket 1 plus 0 0.0103 close the bracket power of 30 so s equal 61 61,196 ringgit. To find I, we are using the same formula again as minus P. I equals 16,196 minus 45,000 ringgit. I equal to 16,196 ringgit. Case study 1. Compound interest. Question B. Which financial institution would you choose and verify your reason? I would choose financial institu institution A because the amount that we have to pay back is less than company B. Case study 2. Retailing Mathematics Question A. An air fryer is sold for 2500 The amount of markup is 25% based on the cost price. Question 1. Express the markup M in terms of cost price. S equal to 2500 M equal to 25% To find the cost price, we have to use the formula S equal C plus M 2500 equal to C plus 0.25 C Since C plus C equals to 1 So 2500 equal to 1 plus 0.25 C 1 plus 0.25C equals to 1.25C To find the value of C, we have to divide the 2500 with 1.25C So C equals to 2000 
to find the markup value we, we, we have to use the formula S minus C so M equal to 2500 minus 2000 so the value of M is 500 Case study 2 Retailing Mathematics Question A Number 2 Calculate the cost of the air fryer To find C We are using Formula C Equal S minus M So C Equal 2500 Minus 500 C Equal 2000 ringgit Question 3 Find the markup value So to find the markup value We are using M equal S minus C So M equal 2500 minus 2000 ringgit So M equal 500 ringgit Case study 2 Retailing Mathematics Question B A home theatre is marked up 20% on selling price If the markup amounts to RM400 Find the Question 1 Selling price of the home theatre Question Question 1 S equal to 400 divided by 0 0.25 S equal to 1,600 ringgit For question B2 Cost of the home theater To find the answer for the question 2 We are using Formula S equal C plus M So it's going to be 1,600 ringgit equals C plus 400 ringgit so we move 400 ringgit to the front and it's gonna be 1600 minus 400 equal C 1200 ringgit equal C so we move C to the front and C equal 1200 ringgit 